Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I am back again today creating this card with the Sticker Kitten Unicorn Fairground Craft Box. And I'm going to be using this die cut here and the stamps from the craft box as well. I am using a four and a quarter by five, I'm sorry, four by five and a quarter piece of cardstock. And I am cutting this die cut right in the center. And I'm going to be using these as eyelashes for a unicorn face card front. I have absolutely been loving this trend lately of the unicorn face on the card front. And I decided to use the supplies included in this box to make my own. There's not specifically a unicorn face stamp in this box, but there are lots of different supplies that make it very easy to create your own. And you'll see how I do that here today. So I'm also going to be using this double chevron pattern stamp which can be used in so many different ways, but I am going to be masking it off just a bit today to create the horn for the unicorn. I'm going to be using blue painter's tape to do that, but to emboss it, of course, I'm going to be using my Versamark ink, and I'm going to just line up my eyes, and I'm going to use, of course, the these die cuts for the eyelashes, but I'm going to line them up where I'd like them so that I know where to stamp the unicorn's horn. So you can see that I started it there and the way that I got it tapered like that is just to add some blue painter's tape as you saw. So you're going to see me mask it a little bit more right here. So I'd like the next triangle in the chevron or horn pattern or unicorn pattern to be slightly smaller just so it looks like it tapers a bit and comes to a point. And so I just easily tape that off with some blue painter's tape. I then stamp it into my Versamark ink and I make sure to pull off the painter's tape before I stamp. That is very important. I'm using Aladdin embossing powder and this is from Wow Embossing Powders. This is probably my favorite embossing powder to date. And you see that I did get some residue there just from having stamped it earlier as well, but not to worry. I'm just going to take a paintbrush and easily just take all of that embossing powder right off of where it stuck when it wasn't supposed to. So again, nothing to worry about. You just easily take a paintbrush and then tap the back of it gently so that any of the excess embossing powder that you don't want to stick will just fall right off. I've now heat that with I've now heated that with my heat gun and you can already see the unicorn coming to be but I definitely want to add a little bit more embellishment to the unicorn itself so I'm going to be using some Catherine Pooler flower dyes and I'm just going to be coloring them them in with some Copic markers in various shades of pink, purple and yellow. I'm going to arrange them here how I like them and I am gluing them together but not down onto the card front because I'm going to be adhering them to the card front with foam tape and this will just give a little bit more dimension to the piece and just make it pop out a little bit more. So once I get that exactly where I like it, I'm going to be using some Nuvo Crystal Drops in Dandelion Yellow and just creating the centers for these flowers and you'll see that I just put a little piece of tape and I just squeeze a little bit of it onto that tape because that will prevent some of the sort of like spray that you get sometimes or the air in the nozzle and it helps tremendously I have come to realize and I don't squeeze these anymore without First, doing a little bit on a scrap piece of paper or tape. So I'm putting it all together now. And here is the final piece. And I did use this star patterned paper as a matted background. So this is cut to four and an eighth by five and three eighths, I believe. <laughs> and this just gives a nice matted background, which is slightly larger than the card front and slightly smaller than the card base. 
I also drew on some ears with a very fine black pen. I also stamped the sentiment, Time to be a Unicorn, which is a sentiment included in the stamp set in the craft box itself. And I stamped that on the bottom right hand of the card and included some sequins that are also included in the craft box, plus a few gold sequins that I had laying around. Finally, I added the matted background, which is the pink star pattern paper, also from Sticker Kitten. Thank you so much for watching. As always, links to my blog, Pinterest, and Instagram, and all of the supplies used are in the description. Thank you so much, and I will see you very soon. Thanks. Bye.